What's up everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98 and today I'll be doing a movie review on this Disney animated movie from 1992, and that's none other than Aladdin. So yep, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy this movie review. So yep, I'm going to be using one of these copies for my movie review. This is the 2015 Diamond Edition Blu-ray I have. But here's the copy I'm going to be using for this one. It's the 2019 4K Ultra HD version. So yep, let's get in with the history, then we'll then we'll get in with the plot in a sec. So yep, the history on Aladdin, as I'm trying to say, it first hit theaters on November 11th, 1992. The same month as Home Alone 2 Lost in New York was coming to theaters. Well, it came before it. And then it was released onto VHS under the Black Diamond Classics lineup in 1993. And then it was released onto Laserdisc in 1994. And then it was released onto VHS one last time on a Platinum Edition VHS, as well as it being on a two-disc Platinum Edition DVD for the first time on that same year in 2004. And then they waited a long time to release this onto regular Blu-ray onto the Diamond Edition lineup in October 2015. And then it was released onto Blu-ray again in 2019. And then it was released onto 4K Ultra HD finally. September 10th, 2019, that same day that the Thomas Blubba movie hit physical media. So yep, that was the very long history, kind of a bit long. So yep, let's look at this copy, then we'll get in with the plot of Aladdin. So yep, here's what this copy looks like. It's the 4K Ultra HD version. 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray plus digital code. Disney's Aladdin. You have the genie. Aladdin and Jasmine on the magic carpet. And you have the palace of... I think it's Agrabah. That's the place. The magic lamp and the evil Jafar. Anyway, here's the front. Spine. Let's get a picture of genie. Anyway. Here's the back cover. It says, the funniest animated movie of all time, says Pete Hammond of Deadline. Anyway, you got Abu right there. And this guy holding the magic lamp. You got Jafar and his his funny parrot, Ayago. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, here's what's on both discs of here. And here's the actual case. Anyway, here is the discs. Here's the Blu-ray disc, the regular Blu-ray, which has, which is just a boring old blue disc. And here's the 4K, which has just, j just the genie on there. So yep, let's get in with the plot of Aladdin. This version, it starts off with this prince called Aladdin. Well, when he's going off on a mysterious adventure and he ends up in this mysterious cave called the Cave of Wonders, where he finds this magic lamp, and all of a sudden, a magical genie pops out of it and he grants Aladdin three wishes to try and see if he can marry this princess of, of Agrabah, that's the name of the place, named Jasmine. But the evil Jafar wants to try and do it before he does. And so they basically have to do whatever they can to help Aladdin stop the evil Jafar with help from the genie and his monkey Abu. And see if they can he can fall in love with the Princess Jasmine. So yep, that's the really basic plot of Aladdin. So what do I think of Aladdin? This version, as I'm trying to say, man, I gotta say, very, very amazing and funny movie, if I gotta say so myself. Because, you know, yes, the, um, everything was amazing. The, um, the animation is superb, because this is a, some people say it was criticized as the, um, the fourth Walt Disney movie of the, of the Disney Renaissance era. Even though some people say it's the third, because it came out. Because, you know, The Rescuers Down Under is supposed to be a one 
particular theatrical only sequel to The Rescuers. And this is considered the fourth one of the Disney Renaissance, but I consider it the third, because you know they just released they forgot to release the Rescuers sequel. And you know, yes. The um voice cast for some of the characters does an amazing job. The famous one we know is for Robin Williams, who voiced the genie, even though rest in peace to Robin Williams. And all the others for Aladdin, Jasmine, Jafar, and even Abu do a funny job in, at voicing the characters. And you know the musical numbers for the best song? Get this, A Whole New World, which I'm going to also say this is also on par with with, yes, the bare necessities from the Jungle Book, You Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story, and and Why Should I Worry from Oliver and Company. And yes, the pacing is great, and everything else was great. So, yep, if I had to rank Aladdin, I would probably give it absolutely 5 out of 5 stars. It was amazing and funny and... Had some great dialogue and everything else, and yeah. Because, yep, it was making great at sales and, and selling well at the box office movie theater. And following the success, since it did very well at the box office, it received two direct-to-video and DVD sequels. Well, I just say direct-to-video because they did get DVD releases. First sequel would be The Return of Jafar in 1994. And Aladdin and the King of Thieves in 1996, and a television series, and they would eventually make a live action version in 2019. So, yep, to any of you guys out there who have not seen Aladdin, where have you guys been? Watch this movie and see if you like it. If you like it, that's cool, because I'm sure you'll get a laugh out of it and you'll enjoy it as well. So, yep, that's really going to be it for this movie review, everyone, on Aladdin. Hopefully you guys liked it, and hopefully this will give you guys some entertainment if you guys have already seen this movie. Because if you guys have seen it, like I said, that's amazing. But if you guys have not seen Aladdin, where have you been? Pick up this movie, and maybe you'll be entertained and get a laugh out of it once in a while. Because this is now my sixth favorite Disney animated movie, because you know, well... I put the Lilo and Stitch movie from 2002 as my fifth favorite Disney animated movie because of me loving it, this, this thing as a kid. Well, the movie as a kid, rather. This one at number six because it's just good dialogue, best original song, and funny moments. And yeah. So yep, if you guys out there have not seen Aladdin, where have you guys been? Pick this movie up. But if you guys have seen it, like watched on Disney+, Plus, which I never did, but if you guys have seen it on Disney Plus, that's cool. And if you guys don't have this on media yet, go ahead and pick it up if you guys don't have it. But if you guys have it, that's cool. And if you guys have seen it, amazing. So, anyways, yep, that's gonna be it for this movie review one on Aladdin, the 1992 animated version. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this movie review, and hopefully, stick around for more movie reviews coming soon, as always, because there's more to come on great movies I've been watching recently and hopefully they'll be on some cool ones coming very soon.